Hey guys, it's your girl Naturally Naughty here and I'm here today to show you how I got this Thanksgiving inspired makeup look. It's full of oranges and browns and golds which just really remind me of the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, just please stay tuned. I'm starting off on a fresh face. I've already moisturized and now I'm going to do my brows off camera. To get started on the eyes, I'm taking this NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone and I'm going to take a Target Up and Up brand concealer brush and just put that all over my eyelid. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadow bases because as you can see it just really makes a great base. And I am setting that with the NYC Loose Face Powder in the color Naturally Beige and I'm taping off my eyelid. To get started on the eyes, I'm using this Morphe 35O palette and I'm taking that lighter orange shade as I just showed you in the palette and I'm taking this Wet n Wild blending brush and I'm just going to start working that into my crease with back and forth windshield wiper motions all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. And as you can see, I'm just building up that color to the intensity that I want. Now I'm going back into the Morphe 35 O palette and I'm taking the brightest orange in the palette. This is probably my favorite color in the entire palette. It's so pigmented. And I'm taking another e.l.f. Um, blending brush and I'm going a little bit below that first orange and just really focusing that like right in the crease. And once again I'm going back and forth building up the intensity and then blending it all out. Now I'm going in with a darker orange in the palette and I'm going to use that to darken up the outer V. And I'm taking this little e.l.f. dollar brush and I'm just going to pack that into the V and blend it into the crease just a bit. And we're just really building the color here, building the intensity and building the depth. And now I'm going back in with that first Wet n Wild blending brush and I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges. Now I'm going back in with the NYX eyeshadow base but this time I'm using the color white. They have a white eyeshadow base that I just recently got and I freaking love it. I'm taking this e.l.f. Um, concealer brush and I'm just going to carve out my eyelid using this white eyeshadow base. This is just going to make the shadow that I put on top of it really really pop so it is its true color and it's just going to give it its ultimate you know uh, potential so you can actually see what color it is. It is a bright glittery gold so I want it to be really intense. So I'm taking this color right here. It is a golden shade in the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just going to pack that on top of that white eyeshadow base. Now I'm taking this little like pencil brush. I got it from Walmart in a little set for like $4.96. It came with like five brushes, so a dollar a brush. And it's um, by Glam and Beauty. And I'm just going to um, make that crease area just more defined. I'm going back in and just blending everything out. Now for the glitter, I'm taking this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the color Midnight Cowboy. It is a gold glitter. And I'm just going to... Um, outline that crease line that we made in between the orange and the gold basically the orange eyeshadow and the gold eyeshadow I'm just going to carve out that line now I'm going to go in with the NYC liquid liner and I'm going to do a winged liner and basically as you can see the winged liner and the end of the gold liner are going to meet And I'm going to just start on the wing. This is how I like to do my wing liner. I start with the wing and then I start at the beginning of my eye and just let those two lines meet. And I'm doing a bit of filling in right here and we're good. So for lashes, I'm going to go in with this Eye Lure Vegas Nail Lashes in the style Grand Glamour. And taking my Ulta Lash Tool here, I'm just going to pop those on. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin with this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I love this primer. It really reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer but for a very less price. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with these Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Foundations. Uh, they are in the colors 320 Warm Honey and 340 Cappuccino. And I'm just going to put it on this ill foundation brush and just buff that into my skin. I like mixing these two colors together because one is too 
red and one is like way too light I got it on accident so I like mixing them to the two together and it gives me like the perfect shade now I'm gonna take the Morphe uh, blending or the Morphe sponge and I'm just gonna blend that into my skin to get rid of any streaky lines or anything like that now I'm using this NYX dark circle concealer it's in the shade medium and I'm going to use that to as you can see there get rid of any of my dark circles under my eyes and now I'm going in with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the color Golden and I'm going to put that in all the normal places underneath my eyes, really carve out underneath my eyes all the way up to my winged liner and then I'm going to put it in the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and on my chin and I did a bit of cream contouring with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso and to set everything I'm going to use the NYC Loose face powder in the color naturally beige this is my first time using this um, powder on camera and I really really like it it is um, only three dollars and 82 cents at Walmart so I had to pick it up they didn't have the color translucent which is what I really wanted they were out so I just went ahead and got this color naturally beige and I really really like it so I'm just sitting underneath my eyes I'm sitting on my chin on my cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Set and Smooth Press Powder in the color Mocha, I believe, Coconut, excuse me, it's in the color Coconut, and I'm basically going to set everywhere besides under my eyes. I'm leaving that powder there, that NYC powder, for a little bit to bake. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner on my waterline using this Ulta Beauty eyeliner actually. And I'm going to go in with this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and taking an angled brush, this one's by Luxie Beauty. I'm just going ahead and setting the areas that I cream contoured, which is, you know, carving out my cheekbones around the outer perimeter of my forehead. I'm also going to do my jawline. Now that I'm done setting my cream contour, I'm just going to wipe away that excess baking powder with the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Set and Smooth Press Powder. And now I'm just going to go back in with that NYX Highlight and Contour Palette to contour my nose with this Cover FX two-sided contour brush. I am loving this brush to contour my nose. It makes it so easy. Now to smoke out my bottom waterline, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to use the two darker orangey shades that I use for our eye look, one after the other, and I'm just going to smoke out that bottom waterline with this e.l.f. pencil brush. Now for lashes, I'm going in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, my new favorite. I love the applicator. It is just so black and so beautiful and it makes your lashes look extra long and extra gorge now i'm going in with this nyx ombre blush i'm i'm not sure of the color but as you can see it's super duper pigmented i just put the tiniest bit on and my face was like orange so i had to really blend that out now for highlight i'm going in with this ulta beauty limited edition cheek palette and i'm going in with that highlight shade right there in the center and i'm going to use that to get that glow i am using it on the tops of my cheekbones on my temples making that little c shape right there which i really love doing it just looks so beautiful this highlight is so beautiful i'm so pleasantly surprised by this this is my first time using it and i love it so I'm also going to go down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose. Also put um, some on my cubist bow, of course, a little bit in the middle of my forehead and also on my chin. So I'm setting my face today with the Ulta Beauty Matte Finishing Setting Spray. And for lippy, I use the NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lipstick in Corset and the NYX suede lip liner in downtown beauty so i hope you guys enjoyed this look thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and have a very happy thanksgiving i hope to see you guys on my next video bye bye anything you do anything you do everything's for you